Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, the legendary Earl Nightingale once said. Have you ever pondered the factors that distinguish successful individuals from those who struggle to achieve their objectives? Achieving success is often the result of a mix of fortunate circumstances, personal abilities, and various other elements that consistently play a role. Earl Nightingale said, Success is achieved by continuously working towards a meaningful goal. In other words, anyone who is actively pursuing their aspirations can be considered successful. Let's explore this video together and uncover the key elements that can help you unleash your full potential and achieve your goals. If you have aspirations for career growth, financial independence, or personal satisfaction, having a clear understanding of these factors can significantly influence your path to success. Join us on a thrilling adventure as we delve into the path towards realizing your biggest dreams. How about we go back to the beginning and take another look at how we define success? I wonder who holds the power in this particular scenario. Success is truly achieved when one consistently makes progress towards a meaningful goal. According to Jim Rohn, success can be achieved by consistently practicing a few simple disciplines. It involves setting goals and actively working towards them. I'll be sharing stories of extraordinary individuals from different parts of the world who have achieved remarkable success. Success is all about finally realizing your lifelong dream of becoming a teacher. This person has achieved remarkable success. A woman's success can be measured by her ability to achieve her goals of being a wife and mother through her dedication and effectiveness in fulfilling those roles. She yearned for a sense of stability and the opportunity to build a warm and nurturing family. The individual who owns a small store on the corner has achieved success by making the decision to establish his own business and pursue his aspirations. A successful salesperson is someone who not only strives to excel in sales, but also grows and adapts with their company over time. Zig Ziglar once said, You don't need to be exceptional to begin, but you must begin to become exceptional. This element is absolutely essential in shaping your level of success. When someone is fully engaged and purposefully carrying out their assigned duties, they can be regarded as accomplished in their work. On the other hand, achieving something similar is a rare accomplishment, with only about 1 in 20 people able to do so. In today's society, it appears that competition is not readily present unless we actively seek it out. Without taking action, the modern world lacks a significant level of competition. There's no need for us to be in competition with one another. Wow, the past 20 years have been quite a journey for me. I've been on a constant search to predict and understand people's actions. So, now it's time to take what you've learned and start putting it into action. Let's get creative. I couldn't help but wonder if there might be a hidden truth that, once uncovered, could reshape the future into a world of hope and allow us to make more accurate predictions. Implementing a certain strategy and having access to it can greatly contribute to achieving one's goals and attaining success. I came across a quote by Napoleon Hill that really resonated with me. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. It got me thinking, and I actually found something that perfectly aligns with that idea. Ever thought about why some people seem to effortlessly achieve their desires, while others work tirelessly without the same results? Oh, if that's true, then this question is definitely worth thinking about. There's just something so captivating about them. You happen to overhear them casually talking about someone else and using that specific term. It's truly remarkable how everything he lays his hands on seems to turn into pure gold. Sure, I'm open to discussing a wide range of topics. It's fascinating how individuals who have achieved success tend to continue achieving success in the future, don't you think? Please feel welcome to share your observations in the comment section below. Oh, hey, have you ever noticed that people who have faced failure before often seem to encounter it again in the future? At the end of the day, it's all about reaching those goals. It seems that some individuals possess them while others do not. 
It's crucial for individuals to set goals for themselves in order to increase their chances of reaching their desired destination. Tony Robbins frequently highlights the importance of clarity, stating that setting goals is the initial step towards transforming the intangible into the tangible. Imagine this. A ship is about to embark on a journey from a port, and the entire route has been carefully planned and organized. Where they end up, and how long it takes to get there. The captain and crew have a good understanding of them. Ship it has a specific goal it aims to accomplish. Almost always, 9999 times out of 10,000 to be exact, it reaches its intended destination without any issues. All right. Let's get started on constructing another ship that's exactly the same as the first one. For this particular instance, we will choose an unmanned approach, eliminating the need for a crew or captain to operate it. Why don't we just go with the flow and see where it takes us? So basically, we start up the engine and let it keep running. I think we can both agree that if it manages to get out of the port, it will probably end up being flooded and destroyed or end up stuck on a beach somewhere. The object doesn't seem to have a specific destination or path, so it can't really move in any particular direction. It's interesting to compare a human being. How about we consider someone who works in sales? Currently, there is no one else who can even come close to rivaling your potential to become truly exceptional. Selling is a profession that offers the opportunity to earn a substantial income on a global scale, if two conditions are met. First of all, we are highly skilled in our field, and secondly, we have a clear vision for where we want to go. It's widely understood that all companies appreciate and compensate salespeople who consistently achieve outstanding results. Working with them opens up a world of possibilities, but the real challenge lies in finding a sufficient number of them. I remember someone once talking about how the way our society is structured seems to favor those in positions of power. On the contrary, its purpose is to safeguard the well-being of those who may be at risk of losing. It's fascinating to consider the parallels between the current state of the American economy and that of a convoy. During periods of conflict, the economy often experiences a slowdown to protect its more fragile sectors much like a convoy that adjusts its speed to ensure all vessels stay together. It reminds me of when the group was on the move. It's similar to how a group of vehicles had to maintain a consistent speed to stay in formation, even if one of them was slower. In today's world, earning a living has become much easier compared to the past. These days, you don't need to be exceptionally smart or talented to secure financial stability and take care of your loved ones. When someone is seeking the highest level of safety and protection, they can be confident that their needs will be met. Before we proceed, it's important for us to define our boundaries and goals so that we can overcome this obstacle. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get back to the story I've been excited to tell you today. This secret is truly one of a kind. I've always been curious about the connection between having well-defined objectives in life and the tendency for men to achieve greater levels of success. It's really interesting how having a sense of direction can completely change the course of your journey. Listen up, because what I'm about to say could seriously change the way you live your life. Prepare yourself for some significant shifts in your life that you never anticipated. If you genuinely make an effort to comprehend everything, I would be delighted to engage in a conversation with you. Let's begin. This will greatly affect your life. It seems that good luck always manages to find you. Being prepared for unforeseen circumstances is crucial. It's truly incredible how effortlessly the things you want just seem to come into your life. From now on, you can leave behind any challenges, concerns, or uneasiness that might have affected you previously. Placing your faith in God can help alleviate worries and doubts. Success and failure go hand in hand, both carrying equal significance. Our thoughts play a significant role in shaping the world around us. Just to reiterate, I want to emphasize this point once more. It's fascinating how our thoughts can influence the world around us. Throughout history, many influential thinkers, such as philosophers, prophets, and wise individuals, 
have reached agreements on a variety of topics. This knowledge has been passed down from generation to generation. It's interesting how they always seem to be in sync when discussing this specific topic. Take a moment to really listen to the wise words of the esteemed Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius in the passage that follows. He once mentioned, It's fascinating how someone's perspective on their life can significantly influence what they ultimately achieve from it. It is widely believed that Benjamin Disraeli once made a fascinating observation regarding the advantages of being patient. It's pretty obvious that if someone is really set on reaching a certain goal, they'll find a way to make it happen, no matter what gets in their way. One's unwavering determination can drive them to take risks, even risking their own life, to see their mission through to the end. So, after giving it some thought, I've reached a conclusion. It's been said that a person's thoughts have a profound impact on their identity, as Ralph Waldo Emerson once noted. According to William James, a significant realization during his time was the ability to transform our lives by simply altering our perspectives on life. He was absolutely convinced that this was the most incredible find of his time. He suggests that if we simply start acting as though the desired outcome has already happened, we can achieve it. It's exciting to think about how this will become a reality and truly connect with our lives. Well, moving on. So basically, if we just pretend like the object is already there, it'll magically appear right before our eyes. Our daily lives and emotions will become so closely connected to it that our fascination with it will influence our convictions. During another speech, he discussed the importance of having a strong desire for a specific outcome and how it can drive you to find a way to make it happen you have the potential to reach the level of financial success you desire if you're determined and focused. If you have the drive to better yourself, you will undoubtedly reach your goals. You're truly remarkable when you give it your all. You have the power to cultivate hope and desire for these things. It's difficult to have the same level of intensity for 100 other things that align with your wishes as you do for these specific things. According to the book of Mark, in chapter 9, verse 23, it is mentioned that when someone truly believes, all things become possible for them. This passage discusses an individual who possesses a profound faith in the boundless potential of existence. Dr. Norman Vincent Peale believes that this law is a fundamental principle that governs the universe. It would have been great if I had discovered it sooner, allowing me to benefit from it in various aspects of my life not just in my relationship with God. It wasn't until much later in life that I truly understood its significance. But let me tell you, when I found it, I was absolutely blown away. It's without a doubt one of the most incredible discoveries I've ever made. It took me a while to fully grasp the significance of it, but eventually I came to realize its importance. When you approach things with a pessimistic attitude, you often find yourself attracting similar unfavorable experiences and outcomes. This law holds great importance and can be easily explained in a straightforward and brief manner. When you decide to approach your thoughts with a positive mindset, you'll begin to notice positive results. Achieving wealth and success is rooted in a fundamental truth that forms the basis. Have faith in yourself and you'll reach your goals. These words serve as a constant reminder of the power of doubt and how it can hinder our progress if we allow fear to control us. Oh, you know what's interesting? William Shakespeare actually shared his thoughts on this matter in an interview. George Bernard Shaw once made a statement. It's fascinating how frequently individuals attribute their present circumstances to factors outside of themselves. I don't really keep up with what's going on beyond my own little world. People who achieve success in life are the ones who are proactive, willing to explore new opportunities and actively pursue the circumstances they want. If they can't find them, they just create them themselves. If individuals do not actively pursue the circumstances they desire, their chances of success in this world are slim. Let's be honest, this isn't really a secret. 
Come on over and chill for a while, and it seemed like every person who caught wind of this believed they were the original ones to stumble upon what was going on. It's fascinating how our thoughts can influence the world around us. It's quite evident that individuals with a well-defined and purposeful objective are bound to succeed in the end. It's really interesting how our thoughts have the power to shape our reality and impact our lives. Well, if someone is truly determined to achieve their goal, they are bound to succeed. Well, when someone is truly dedicated to reaching their goal, their chances of success tend to be higher. On the other hand, when someone doesn't have clear goals and direction, their mind can become overwhelmed with thoughts of confusion, worry, dread, and concern. It's interesting how someone's vision for themselves can shape their future. He's going to become what he thinks about because he won't have anything else to occupy his mind. Throughout his life, he'll go through a wide range of negative emotions, including frustration, dread, anxiety, and concern. Well, if he doesn't give himself anything to think about, if he doesn't provide himself with something to think about, he'll have nothing to reflect on. Can you explain how it works? Isn't it interesting how our thoughts can actually shape our reality? Let me give you a rundown of who we are and how our operations work based on what we know so far. Allow me to begin by describing a situation that resembles the functioning of the human mind in order to enhance our comprehension of this concept. Imagine this scenario. There's a farmer who is fortunate enough to own a piece of land that is exceptionally fertile and productive. The land has provided the farmer with a multitude of options to choose from. Regardless of his chosen cultivation, the land remains unaffected by his efforts. The final call lies in the hands of the farmer in this scenario. Let's explore the fascinating similarities between the human mind and the world in this paragraph. Similar to the earth, the mind remains unaffected by whatever is sown within it. It feels like an empty canvas just waiting to be filled. It doesn't really matter what you choose to plant because, ultimately, you'll reap what you sow. Just to clarify, this example is purely for illustrative purposes. Picture this. The farmer has two seeds in his hand. Hey, how's it going? All right, let's start off with the maize seed. Oh, and let's not forget about nightshade. It's quite a risky plant, you know. He prepares the soil by making two separate planting holes. There are two holes, one for the corn seed and another for the nightshade plant seed. He plants both seeds with great care, even if he talks about the problems with the land. I always make sure to water it regularly and take care of it in every other way. What kind of outcomes can we anticipate? Isn't it amazing how anything that's planted in the ground can bounce back to life, no matter what obstacles it encounters? The Bible places a strong emphasis on the principle of cause and effect. It's interesting how the decisions we make about what we plant can have a big impact on the outcomes we experience. Keep in mind, the land isn't too concerned with your actions. It will create an impressive amount of poison that will match the beauty of the grain it produces. Hey, have a look! We have a couple of plants that are really thriving. So there are these two types of plants. One is maize, and the other one is a poisonous plant. The human mind is truly remarkable, with its ability to conceive and explore the vastness of the land. It is a source of endless fascination and wonder. However, it operates in a comparable way. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what we plant in the ground. Reaching a goal, feeling let down, having a definite and worthwhile aim, or the range of emotions that can arise in a conversation, including uncertainty, confusion, worry, and other similar feelings. It's really interesting to ponder how everything we plant in the world eventually produces a harvest. It's worth noting that the human mind is still a vast territory that holds many mysteries yet to be uncovered. We have access to an incredible array of resources that surpasses our wildest expectations. Whatever we decide to plant in the soil, it will definitely bring us some great rewards. I find it quite fascinating to ponder why individuals don't utilize their thoughts more frequently. Occasionally, I think they might have discovered a solution to that issue. Right from the start, our minds are fully prepared and eager to explore. No limitations holding us back. Don't fret about any potential financial risks right now. For us, receiving free items isn't really a top priority. We should strive to conduct ourselves differently. 
we typically put our money into things that we consider to be worthwhile. 